ditch. There is a ditch there. Yeah. And then there's a ditch over there. We should be safe. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We are in Kalgoorlie Boulder, or Kalgoorlie as you may know it, in Western Australia in the Goldfields region. We got here from Meriden yesterday and it's pretty much been raining for two days and it's about 11 degrees <laughs> right now. So it's been pretty cold and chilly. We're here for about five days. We're gonna do some exploring today and tomorrow. And then we've got some maintenance happening on the car the next two, the two days after that. And we've also expecting some exciting things coming in the post this week. So might have to take a trolley to the post office at some point this week. Uh, and then after that, we're hitting the Malibor yet again and heading back into South Australia. Uh, really excited for this this week and just the lead up to the Malibor. Um, we had such a good time on that trip last time we did it. And believe it or not, this time last year on Father's Day, happy Father's Day babe, <laughs> we were actually on Cape York on our way to Fruit Bat Falls. Uh, I can't believe it's been a whole year I can't do that <laughs> since then. Yet. Yeah. Anything? Do you want a swing swing? Yeah. yeah. I just have to stop Ready? Ready? Set. One, two, go. three. Go. <laughs> now one. All right, we hope you enjoy this one. Uh, we're going to be doing some exploring. We'll show you around this area. Oh. And our prep for another ball this time. With the niche from over it. <laughs> We're almost back at the campground. So we just ended up staying in the uh, 24 hour rest area last night. We rolled in a day earlier than we expected to just because the weather was quite rubbish on the road. Uh, so we just stayed in the RV 24 hour rest area here. It's next to the playground, next to an oval, rest next to this for the uh, the dogs. Uh, and Clem just spotted a coffee van's rolled in, haven't you? Yeah, it has. So I think we're gonna go grab a coffee and um, probably go over to the playground. Are you being cute? Yeah. Is that how you get what you want? Baby Kino, yeah, I suppose we haven't had a baby Kino for a few days, have we? We want to get It's pretty good. It's very popular with the coffee there. I haven't tasted the coffee yet, though. Yeah, now there was a bit of a line out. How much was it, babe? Uh, yeah. Eleven dollars for the two tolls and the baby Kino. Oh, well, that's reasonable. Yeah. I think. It's hard to say, really. Yeah. Okay, all packed up and on our way to the tourist mine. It's only about five minutes. <laughs> How many? Four Ks is 10 minutes. Four Ks is 10 minutes from here. So I'm just going to give you a quick pan if you can see out the window. Nice big open area, relatively flat. It is quite flat. Um, and even though it has been raining a heap, it's not really muddy, it's just wet dirt. <laughs> wet dirt, wet, wet, dirt sand. wet sand really. Which is pretty good considering how much rain we've had. The road yesterday from Meriden was pretty hectic with trucks and like heavy rain. And that's a horrible road. It's a really bad road. Just... One of the worst ones we've been on. Almost on par with the police highway in Queensland. Yes. <laughs> it looks like a fun place to explore. So we're at the Hanans North Tourist Mine and there is caravan parking here and it's a beautiful cold day so we're going to put the dogs in the van and just leave some windows open. They've had a massive walk this morning already. And if you're not comfortable doing that, there's yes. actually pens here apparently. Yeah, for the so dogs. If we see them, we'll, we'll show you. Yeah, we'll have a look. Um, we're always a bit hesitant about that because Costa is more comfortable in the caravan yeah. and we know if we leave him in a pen, he will bark the entire time. Um, curious, you could take her anyway. <laughs> Costa, however, not so much. So we like to make him as comfortable as possible so his anxiety is at its lowest. And the van's home. And the van is home, so he'll be very comfortable and snug. Is the entrance. Yeah, apparently there's Chinese gardens here that you can picnic in. What a strange combination. Yeah, I, I'm guessing we'll learn some more about it shortly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're pretty long and we only just fit in this bay here. Um, there is more parking out on the road, you could just park alongside the perch. The dog pens are up there. So it's handy when places provide those sorts of things because it's less restrictive for people travelling with pets. All right, we're going to get everybody organized and go and have a look. Yeah. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah. It is very cool. I'm not actually sure, can I? It's an engine, maybe. 
Yeah, look, yeah. Liam, we get to go up the big ramp to go in the giant loader. That's a big machine, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a loader that big before. How cool is that? We're going to go up. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hannah? Sit the pedals down here, kiddo? I can't reach them. No. Nah. Nah. Well, if you sit on Dad's lap, then we could drive it together. What do you reckon? Uh, I've reached them. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Dad's coming in. Ready? Yeah. Then we can drive together. People, people. Um, 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 um. What's the blue button? What's the blue button? Ooh, what's the blue one? <laughs> so while we're here, I thought I would just give you a bit of a touch on what I used to do. So I used to work in oil and gas, but these cabs sort of remind me of um, the crane cabs offshore. So like you've got your radio speakers here, one radio used to sit here and another one sat up here. Uh, and then run the cables out through here to our antennas. So I used to be a communications technician. I well, still technically I am, but I haven't done that for a few years now. But yeah, I used to install radios into our cabs like this. And I even worked at Rio for a little while as a conman uh, during my apprenticeship where we installed them in cars and stuff as well. So yeah, there's my background. That's a big bucket, isn't it? Just a blue one, and you hold it up here. That's it, nice and wide, and you go on this one. One. Yay! Hey, good stamp, kiddo. It looks like a wombat. It does look like a wombat. <laughs> we can get that one away. Yep, now we can go up. Yeah. Can I wear a hard hat to go in the truck? But you okay? Yeah. Alright, should I wear one too? Yeah. I think we might all need one, Mama. I reckon so. Safety first. Up we go. Up we go, now kiddo. make sure you hang on to the rails as you go up, Liam, because I think we should have to be are you driving? Uh -oh. I don't think that's supposed to come apart today. No, just leave that one be, sweetie. Can you twist all these little knobs here? ...station and your workers. That's where Minor can assist. For over a decade. I can't say I've ever thought about it, but for underground mining, having a refuge chamber like this makes perfect sense. Something to bail out into that can run the aircon, it's got oxygen in there, CO2 scrubbers, I imagine there's water and supplies and stuff. I've never worked underground. Makes sense though. I imagine this is going to be quite pretty. It was actually um, created by Chinese in traditional methods. Should be pretty cool. Oh, look at all those fish, kiddo. What house is this? It might be a big house. 
A pig house? Yeah. You reckon piggies live in there? Yeah. Like Peppa Pig? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Made of sticks? Yeah. Good job, Gary. That makes sense, doesn't it? It does. Jeez, this place is bigger than I expected. Yeah. There's so much going on. It's pretty cool, actually. Hard to read it all. Oh, look, I can see a caravan through. Uh, Hi, puppers. Hi, puppers. Looks like a big bus has just arrived. Yeah, there's a bus down there. Can we go in there? Yep, that's yeah, we're going to go the in tunnel. the tunnel. Oh. Wow. Another stand. I wonder what this one will be. I just stayed and watched the rest of that video that was just in that little mining tunnel. Uh, it was fascinating. Like I said, I've never worked underground just to sort of see how they have to go about it. You know, they've got to carry, I'm going to call them rebreathers because I didn't catch the actual word, but basically it scrubs the CO2 out of their breath. So as they breathe out, it gets rid of the CO2 and they breathe back in the oxygen again. Uh, and they each, each had to carry one of them and it lasted about 10 to 15 minutes on, in high exertion. So yeah, I found that pretty fascinating. <laughs> Just looking for Clem and Liam, because Liam can't sit still for that long. Uh, it looks like they found an old fire truck or something down this way, which is kind of cool. I'm actually really enjoying this. There's a lot of cool history here uh, about the mining. Um, I'm pretty keen to see the super pit though. They just showed us an aerial video, video of it in that video then. Um, <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward. We're gonna go find the uh, lookout probably tomorrow when we don't have the van on the back. So we'll go check into our accommodation this afternoon. Here we go. Old school fire truck. Liam! Whoa! Are you moving this thing out here? Yeah. Can you lift it up? Or does it just turn left and right? Can it go up? No. Yeah. What's going on here? Just having fun. <laughs> Who? Me or you? Brad, <laughs> what? They're different to the fire truck we used to drive, eh, Brad? Yeah, just the turret. Yay! <laughs> I like that you can maneuver the turret from inside. Yeah, that's that good. That is very clever and safe. We're in the fire truck. We're in the fire truck. And we did you? Yeah. We did. What was it? What animal was it? Should we go show that? I think so. No, it's from here. Can we show him? Yeah. Where is it? It's outside, isn't it? No, 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 no. On the, on the end. Oh, you want me to show him on the paper? Which one is it? Oh, what is that, kiddo? What's that animal? What is it? You can do it. Tasmanian. Tasmanian. Tasmanian devil? devil. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I tell you what, of all the times I've thought about coming out to visit Kalgoorlie, I expected it to be hot, dry and dusty. But it is cold and wet. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's raining. Yeah, it's just a little bit, isn't it? Oh, have we got any in there? Nothing yet. Oh, kiddo. Careful, we don't want to get wet. All right, so we've checked into the Big Four Prospector claim parks in town. It's one of the better ones, not apparently the best one, but um, that one was full, the acclaim parks. Um, but this has got really good reviews as well. It's nice and big, sides are a bit of an awkward shape, but we're making it work. So we're gonna go check out the super pit now. This is what I mean about awkward sites. So like ours is here, but it curves it curves around. You got our side is right next to us, but then it's not next to it, it actually turns sideways. So you enter it through here. 
So it was really awkward when we pulled in. We didn't know where we were supposed to go or which angle we were supposed to park on. We forget it now. There's yeah. plenty of room in the side, which is nice. Yeah, we got enough room. Um, and room at the front to park the car. But yeah. yeah, we just rocked up and like, where's our site? Anywho, here we are. Yeah, we're going to go check out this super pit. Uh, we're not sure how much you can see from the lookout, but no. they wouldn't put a lookout there no, if you couldn't see anything, right? Yeah, babe. Yeah, your window's you open. Did you, you do it? With your foot. Your foot. Yeah, Can you close it? I feel like there's a double story pub. Yeah. Like every intersection in the main town. The old buildings in the main part of town are really, really cool to look at. Just really well kept and presented. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. And this is South Cow and this is Burt Street, so the main street in Bert. South Cow. It's only about five minutes to um, the other main street. The other main street. No, I can't remember. We'll update you Bert. tomorrow. But it's a Sunday, so nothing really looks open, but I reckon it would be humming on a I'm actually really day. impressed with how clean and well presented Calgary is. I always just expected it to be a, like a dodgy hub. <laughs> I think because they filmed those police TV shows out here and it always seems so rough but I actually I'm actually really liking Cal. Yeah it's beautiful actually. Yeah I haven't seen any like graffiti or anything either. No it's just really well looked after. Even the old run down sort of buildings look good. Yeah <laughs> the hotels look fantastic. There's I'm lots of little. just going for a walk through town. Yeah I mean it's just beautiful. Looking forward to seeing Up we go. Dad's face actually. It's going to be bigger than the last time you were here as well, right? Yeah, I don't really remember it, to be honest. Bumpy ride! Bumpy ride! There's all kinds of machines here. There's going to be all kinds of machines and things to look at here today. Oh, there. That's a big hole. <laughs> so there's heaps of parking up here. I guess on a busy day it'd be pretty chockers. And you could get a caravan up here. It wasn't that steep coming up. What's up, babe? What's up? Oh my god. What's that one over there? I don't know. We're going to have a look in a minute. Jesus Christ, it just keeps going. Wow. Oh man, I get vertigo just thinking about that, eh? Hey? Any ideas? I'm sure there's a sign over there yeah, that I we could go and read. Wow, Liam, what do you think of that? There's one over there! There's one over there! You're looking at the trucks? It's amazing to think that those tiny looking trucks over there are the same size as that giant truck that we saw this morning. Liam's going into overdrive. There's so many! <laughs> are you going into overdrive? Yes. What's that over there? That big white ship all the way over there? It's not a rocket ship, sweetie. It's a towel with a light on it. Can you put your arms up for Mama? <laughs> That's how big it is. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Can come in? Isn't track. it? It's a big scoop from a big digger. A really big digger. Let's see how big the digger is. From a Komatsu PC8000 face shovel. The shovel holds around 70 tonnes of ore. And it takes four loads to fill the tray of a whole truck. Bucket cost 1.1 million. My God. So you can actually see these ones down here operating. I'll try and point one out. Not too far without me, please. Okay, babe. There's one over there. It looks really tiny on here. But I can see it. They're currently loading up the dump trucks. The dump trucks don't seem to be going all the way down the bottom today. They're just going to this bit here. So they must be expanding in just this section here. But there are trucks traveling down this road. So there must be something happening at the bottom. I'm hoping when we get over to the lookout, we can see a little bit more down there. Now it is dog friendly here, um, but because there's so many people we've chosen to leave the dogs in the car, 
It feels like it's about five degrees, so I'm not worried about them. The cracked window and they've got water and they're comfortable. All the normal stuff. And when we got back from the tourist mine today, I took them for a huge walk over near to the race course. Yeah, let's have a look in here. Can you see all the way down? Uh, I guess that wow. is oh, that's yeah. the bottom is probably the bottom. That's so cool. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? It's huge. Did you figure out how deep it was? No, I'm still getting to that part. Okay. But I just learned for every 100 million tons of ore, it's only about 300, 500 kilos of gold. Yeah. So what do you think? That's it's impressive. It's huge. And it's 650 meters deep from the surface. But I didn't think it was that far when they hit the water table. Wow. Um, well, I'm shooting with that pumping water out too. Yeah, but 650 meters deep, the second tallest building in the world could fit in there and it would look small. Yeah, it's amazing, so it's isn't it? Phenomenal. <laughs> and they've only been doing it, well, they, they classified it as one open pit only 30 years ago, 32 years ago, when it became the big pit and now the super pit. So they've done a lot of work. It's just fascinating. And 100, 100 million tons of ore to get 300 to 500 kilos of gold out. That's, that's a lot of dirt there, Yeah, that's crazy. What did you think of the super pit? Really cool. Really cool, okay. Yeah, like we were standing in one of those dump trucks this morning we were driving in there. And that seemed like a big vehicle. It looks like toys in there. <laughs> it looked like real tonkers. Yeah, it looked like real tonkers trucks in there. You know, because they're so far away and they're so far down into the pit. It's just, yeah, that was phenomenal. It helps that that's the first ever open pit mine that I've come across. So. You want to go, go look at the birdies? Go for it. Let's go. But I need to find the toilet seat, you know? Yeah, I know. This is just like that playground burst. Want to look at the birds first? Come on, let's go over the bridge, hey? Well, good morning. We're still in Kalgoorlie. Um, we've just been sort of running errands the last couple of days. Car went in to get a new CV. Because um, I knew it was on its way out. We're about to cross the Malibu, so rather safe than sorry. Uh, now Liam and I have just gone to the Salvos and dropped off a bunch of stuff. Uh, because we've got some new stuff coming. Uh, and once new stuff comes in, we've got to get rid of some old stuff. Uh, part of having small space and weight restrictions. Hello. Hello. So yeah, we donated a bunch of stuff that we don't really use that often anymore um, to make room and wait for the new stuff. So we'll show you that this afternoon when we un unbox it. Uh, Liam and I have now just come to Hammond Park. Yes, Liam? Two peacocks, that's right. Which is an awesome, awesome park um, in Kalgoorlie itself. There's a big playground over there. There's peacocks roaming around. we have got birds in aviaries. They've got emus that wander around the outside of the fence line. There's kangaroos a little bit further over. It's just awesome. We came here with our mate Kim uh, two days ago now. Uh, he took us around, showed us a few things like the old two-up shed, which sent the drone up, which was kind of cool. Um, so I'll lay that over here. Then we came here, he showed us this playground. So Liam and I now have a day free now that we've run our errands this morning. So we're gonna spend a few hours here and have lots of fun. Can you hear that noise? Yeah, I think it's all the birdies, hey? There might be kangaroos. Should we go over and have a look? Uh, apparently, during the warmer months, they set up bouncy castles and the cafe opens and everything there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, but being the first week of spring, yeah, there's not much here. So, we've got it to ourselves at the moment. Hello, Cocky. This one's name is Joe, and he's actually very vocal when he's not got food in his mouth. He yells at you from the other way. Like if we walk away, I reckon he'll start yelling at us. Hello. See, there we go. Hello. Hello, Joe. A bit shy when we're standing right in front of you, aren't you? Hello. <laughs> he's, Hello. he's funny, isn't he? Hello. Oh, that big one. Yeah, isn't he cool? Showing off all his feathers. Hey. Isn't that cool, Liam? Should we get five past him? Yeah, he should let us pass. He's very pretty, isn't he? Yeah. Hey. 
Look, another one in here. Yeah. They're everywhere. And lots of ducks in the pond. Another one there. But I never really expected much from Kalgoorlie, but I actually really like it here. There's a lot going on in town. It's clean, it's tidy. They've got facilities like this. Yeah, it's a big turkey, isn't it? They do make lots of noises, don't they? Oh, look, Rosella. Rosella? Rosella in here. Parrots? Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? There's even like a replica castle over there. I, for the life of me, have, can't figure out why there's a replica castle here. Or like a European, I think it was Bavarian castle. Another peacock over there, yeah, I see it. Um, so I have no idea what the relevance is to this area, but it's very, very cool. It's been here for 20 odd years, I think. I think it was 97 or something it was construction. But we'll just walk past it now and we'll show you. Yeah, I can't find any plaque or anything explaining why it's here or what the relevance is to Kalgoorlie. Go! Through the tunnel! Come show you. Yeah. Yeah, let's go over to the playground, eh? Hello, Mr. Peacock. How cool is that? So there is the plaque here. Yeah, can't find any relevance to Kakori. All right, kiddo, let's go to the playground, hey? No, don't follow the peacock. Leave him be. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Playground. Playground. Playground.